Good morning, e Click needs to squat. Good morning. So, it's not actually morning, it's noon. And what I'm doing right now is something I need to do, okay? Like, this need to happen so bad. So, in getting my mind right, I told y'all I had a lot of stuff in my brain, and I told y'all, first things first, I gotta get my house in order. My bedroom is almost done. Just a little minor details that I want to do to it. But I'm in the process of changing this space around here. And what just made me have even more a sense of urgency to do it. Y'all was on Facebook. And y'all know how it brings up your memories from same day, previous years. Okay, the very first picture popped up when um i first did my diva room and i'll insert a picture in so you guys can see what it looked like before it got a little crowded <laughs> so some things that um i want to change in here are as follows. I want to remove this desk corner right here and I want to open it up to be like a little sitting area kind of. That's what I got in my head right now so that's what I'm trying to um, play off. Also the only thing that will remain from this desk area though will be that piece right there. The filing cabinet with the router, modem, and all that stuff. Just due to the fact that because I live in a historical house, this is where they were able to run everything from outside through this room. That has to stay here. There is no other place for that to go right now. The desk over here, my vanity, I think I have outgrown this desk because I have tons of stuff so this is my um my makeup drawers and all that stuff and i just actually now want to utilize this i have a whole um i think it's called alex i have a whole alex ikea desk out in the nista nest that um i don't use right now just due to the fact that my workstation is gonna have to be in the house let's just let's just call it what it is and because i have space to accommodate a workstation in my basement where all my inventory is housed i have a workstation i just really want to fine tune that area but i gotta fine tune this area first i want to replace this desk with the vent uh the desk that i have out in the nista nest because y'all the nista nest was created mainly to have as you know a backup space for us nistas but how, however it was to be like a studio so that you guys can get some different scenery some different background when we're doing certain type of content videos and stuff and because we have we had a garage that we actually did not use. I was able to create this extra space to be an extension to my business. So I'm going to remove this one and we'll repaint it and all of that because I bought this two years ago, y'all, from the thrift store that's on base. And literally I paid, I think $5, maybe five, no more than $10 for it. I'm gonna continue to use this mirror that um, I actually made myself out of printed duct tape. I just need a little bit more space because as y'all can see, my vanity is crowded. <sighs> Move some things around in here to make this truly feel like a dressing room because right now it just seems like a cl crowded clutter room. That's what it feels like. I'm gonna take my shoe rack from out of the bathroom because I do have a whole third full bathroom y'all y'all wouldn't notice because y'all don't see this okay so I'm gonna be working in this space today and getting some organization done like for real 
I don't know about y'all, but in order for me to function like a well-oiled machine, I have to have organization in my life. I do. So, um, I'm taking the rest of this week to get some of these things done. And one of the main things that we all agree that takes up tons of space in my beauty room is this coat rack. Which is not a coat rack right now. Literally, it is pocket book tree. You know what I'm saying? And um, it just makes the room feel real closed in because of the entrance and all of that. So I plan on removing this all together so the doorway will be nice and open and welcoming. Y'all see what happens. It's gonna happen. So before I do anything, I need to clear off this. However, everything in my main bedroom too, in that closet, is easily displayed. So y'all gonna be going through this process with me through vlogs, okay? I'm not gonna be making no um, special videos, you know, with organizing and stuff like that. Because if I do that, honestly, and I'm being honest, y'all won't get them. So some of the, what I have learned about myself, some of the easiest ways to incorporate content in the video is just to include it in a vlog. And if it's a vlog, it's going, with it being included in a vlog, clearly I'm going to title it a bit different. It won't be titled so much as a weekly vlog, but it'll be like Steph reorganizing her beauty room, you know, decluttering her makeup room you know what i'm saying decluttering her her main closet um reorganizing and stuff like that creating an at-home workspace in your home if you are a um, home-based business so that's what i'm going to be doing in here what i'm going to be doing right here in this hallway this is the long family vision board okay and as y'all can see, words of, you know, that inspire us, such as fashion, smart is beautiful, style setter, fashion statement, I want to be in people's style watch, okay, peace, and um, Garfield, one of my therapists that gave me this and I kept it because it makes sense. If you always do what you always done, you'll always get what you always got. You feel me? Uh, a picture of younger me, okay? When I worked at Charlotte Ruth's uh, about 12 years ago. And we have your child pretty much a prayer for our children on this. And we have another thing called Spirited Life. And then we have, choose my plate. Mr. Long put this on here, okay? So, this whole area is going to be changing as well. I'm going to actually create a uh, chalkboard wall right here. And I'm going to be doing a little, some things a little different with this area where we can leave positive messages for the family. However, it's going to be an area too that captures memories throughout the year. So, some of these things I'm going to put on our vision board that we have in our hallway upstairs for the family is going to get kind of shifted up there and then we're going to be using this as a polaroid let's capture 2018 right here with the ability to write on the chalkboard leave messages for each other yada 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 yeah family so that is the plan for right now so i have a lot of work to do what i will probably do is come back and just film segments of this process and what's going to be happening and like i get to see a kind of transition just in a vlog format okay so i could be a little bit more detailed in a vlog format you feel me anywho I'm going to get started, and Mr. Long just went up to the library to uh, go do his homework, and I just told him by the time he come back, he's going to see a huge difference in this room, so it is, it is 12 noon, Jada's home, Jada's going to be assisting Jasmine's home 
But Jasmine's upstairs getting her life right because she got to work the next straight six days, okay? Since I got y'all on camera, do anybody know how to get rid of this on a stove? It's not greasy or anything, but it's like, I don't know, I think I need like a degreaser or something. Y'all know something that I can get to get that off my stove vent. I gladly appreciate it. However, it's 11.05. Your girl has been hard at work, okay? So, remember earlier I was telling y'all that I was going to be getting my beauty room like a decluttering. Well, I went ahead and I did that today. I did it in the room, started in the room that I spend a good amount of my time, which is my, it's called my diva room. And unlike any big beauty guru YouTuber, my beauty room y'all already know it's it caters to me you know i don't gotta have all this fancy fancy fur rugs and blankets and throws and you know um i'm not uh i'm not a chick that want her vanity to be like completely empty either i like to see my things um i am just someone who feels like it is out of sight it's out of mind which means your ass ain't gonna wear it okay so when I tell y'all, I redid my room. I didn't spend not one dollar doing it. I'm in the same clothes as I'm in earlier. I have not left the house at all today. I just utilized what I already have in my possession. And it's called decluttering too. So I finally wanted my diva room, diva beauty room, my eclectic nista room, okay? I finally wanted it to feel like a dressing room not a dressing room slash office and i think i accomplished that today i'm also going to be showing y'all a new addition to this room that you guys probably didn't even know really existed because it was cluttered as well enough with all the small talk i'm just get right into this and i'm gonna show y'all what i did so of course y'all know keep calm and carry on and this is what she looks like now. So I'm gonna start over here. And what I did here, I had bubble gum machines, camera supplies, and all that stuff on this shelf. And as you can see, something big is missing. That pocketbook tree. That pocketbook tree was taking up so much space. So like when you walked in, you just felt closed in. So that is on my purse that I use uh, for the day. That's where that my purse for the day will be housed. However, I utilized this uh, small bookshelf that clearly I see I do have books, fashion books and stuff. But I, um, I placed some of my designer handbags on display. And as you can see, this collection right here is my Chanel collection. I uh, put sparkly, dazzly shoes that I think are pretty enough to put on display. Popped those in there. Magazine rack where my iPad is and all that good stuff. I need to update that calendar because it's going to be like my little visual workout calendar that I can see. <sighs> I went ahead and dusted cleaned wiped down everything in here everything got touched today okay y'all these are my grammy awards <laughs> from when i was working at cracker barrel as a retail manager i was highest increase over ly and this was all in atlanta georgia and i was a triple threat <laughs> in Atlanta, Georgia as well. Y'all, I told y'all I was working in the hood. I was. Norcross, Georgia. It's kind of rough, okay? However, I got some uh, some Grammys, okay? For being the bomb.com type of retail manager. Over here, have my Polaroid that I got for Christmas. 
my Chanel slipper box. I sat in my Louis Vuitton vintage cosmetic bag and stuffed it so it'll sit right. I got my uh, September Barbie doll that one of my friends in North Carolina bought me because she said I always just looked so put together I could be a Barbie doll. And of course y'all see the Barbie has a dog. So Stephanie is always supposed to have a fur baby. And in front of her, I just put this subliminal message. Always think outside the box. Uh, this is my collage of fashion and brands that I have endorsed, I still endorse, and that I like. Also, I removed this shelf and placed it over here today. And that's the picture of Jazz and I, her first trip going to New York City. Y'all see I have little subliminal messages. The possibilities are endless. Also have my flask that says that and boozy. Hi! My eclectic Nista wine glass that the staff at Charlotte Roos personally got me made. Quotes from Chanel. A girl should be two things, classy and fabulous at all times. A woman who doesn't wear perfume has no future by Coco Chanel. And I purchased those at Burlington Coat Factory like when we first moved here. And this one says, ain't nothing a little wine and mascara can't fix. <laughs> Y'all know that's the truth. So, today's challenge has been clearing a whole desk from over here. And this vintage crushed a velvet mustard yellow well it's a lounge chair um i got this from the goodwill and literally y'all i paid four dollars for it like for real i came home i beat it <laughs> and i bought this like a couple months ago when i was doing the nest i beat it and it was just a fabulous chair and because I wanted it so bad I didn't have my truck that day however when I went back a week later it was still there so it was meant for me and I just happened to be half off because it was eight dollars y'all okay so I have my little you know sitting area like I wanted to create I could not move this filing cabinet system just because this is where all my wi-fi my modem and all that stuff is however i do think i did a great job blending it and disguising it and i put this big box that's striped up on top to give me some height because i felt like that's what this table was like missing with some height and there's a message on here too do more of what makes you sparkle and y'all know i'm all about doing that this year i have my crystal owl that one of my best friends bought me for my birthday i think 2015 and of course i told y'all a cliche of girl boss <laughs> that's the originator of the girl boss okay miss sophia amaruso founder and ceo of nasty gal Y'all, can't y'all see me on a book cover? Can't you see me on a book cover? Founder and CEO of Eclectic Nista. <laughs> me and my girls. Yes, honey. So, I went ahead and I put my cannon on display and put it on my new tripod. Little sparkly slippers. <sighs> Mr. Long is going to hang this Chanel picture up on the wall for me sometime tomorrow. And then this is my Alex desk I told y'all that was out in the Nista nest and it wasn't going to be getting utilized as much as it will in here so I was literally hold on let me put my credit cards up down y'all that I opened up my vanity space to where I have more space this is an accessory dress that uh I thrifted and I painted her purple and as you see I have one side gold uh, some of the earrings that I like to wear often with some novelty pieces as well silver on this side and of course y'all see that uh, necklace that say I do fashion because that's what I do boo I have my desk I mean my vanity mirror that sits on the um, on the on the desktop uh, all my makeup, I dusted, wiped everything off today, uh, kind of decluttered that as well. Tomorrow, all these brushes need to get a bath. Created my, uh, my little corner over here, bowl of lipsticks, uh, my future supermodels. Y'all know those ladies I love, and those my sisters. 
from left to right, me, Tiff, Demetrius, and Ashley in that order, okay? Also, y'all see that throwback uh, Sanyo Sprint flip phone, right? Yeah, I got put on display. Y'all just got to keep me reminded that, you know, it came out in the 2000s. You feel me? I have all my uh, shadows, pa shadow palettes, all like uh, filed away on that shelf. Creamed things, little miscellaneous things, beauty blenders, and a little uh, container. And then... All the stripes and stuff is still on the wall. I didn't remove any of those things. But the biggest thing that I added in here today was this dressing mirror. And this definitely opened my room up because it took away stuff that was over there. And I just, like I said, everything in here got touched by me today. Okay, so dusting. And you really don't realize how dusty a makeup room can get. And I don't know, if you're not somebody who wear makeup all the time, of course you wouldn't know that. But because of all the powders from the brushes and stuff like that, literally, you have to literally uh, dust your room quite often. This is my Eclectic Mista corner. Okay, Jazz got me that painting made. This is... Uh, <laughs> that is my girl from head to toe she is just she she cute everything she got on is couture and that dress i got from bb and i wore that one year when we was living in atlanta at a new year's eve bash that me and james went to that bouquet is made out of pantyhose purple and red fishnets and stockings okay mr long bought me that for uh valentine's day one year of course, y'all know I got my Moschino belt on display. This trunk I purchased from a thrift store for like $5. And I came home and had my sister and Jazz, this when they was a little younger, cut out uh, labels, brands, designers, and go ahead and stick them on this. And it is covered all the way around except the bottom. It's on the other side too. Some shoes on display. My little perfume stand with my collection. I'll be doing a video, so I'll show y'all like some of my some of my favorites that um like it's a couple I need to restock right now, and that's about I ain't five hundred dollars right now. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta do like a bottle a month. Yeah, feel me? Of course, y'all know this is where all my fabulous sunglasses are housed, and I have them on the wall too. And I did that, y'all, with some nails, or you can do it with some thumbtacks. And this drawer also has more sunglasses in it, so yeah, I'm a connoisseur of sunglasses. So this is a room that y'all probably have never ever really seen because this room is always in the background okay however i wanted to take this shoe rack out however um the way my house is made let me explain that to y'all right quick the way this house is designed is a historical home okay so pretty much back in the day they been, they didn't really believe in making like big huge bedrooms and big huge bathrooms every bathroom in our house full is small okay and um this house is over a hundred years old and y'all know i'm a girl that loves vintage so yeah she lives in a vintage home as well okay storage space when it comes to closets and all that stuff it's very 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 limited the only closet in our house that has like you would consider it like a walk-in closet is my master bedroom and as i declutter and straighten that this week i'll be showing y'all but this is like small you know what i'm saying it's tight and i don't really house a lot of clothes in here like I don't this is stuff that um like i need to go through over the next couple of weeks and i'm decluttering cleaning out things I might see some of these things on Poshmark, my website. If it's vintage, it's going on my website. If it's something from a mall or something, it will be going on Poshmark. Or what do y'all think? Do y'all think I should do a series on my website that just say mall finds? Because they're going to be cheap, you feel me? Anywho, talking about this closet. 
this, this bathroom I mean this is a complete full bathroom so I took the hats off the door put them up the side of the wall because I don't really close this door sneakers uh, shoes pop the well, ones that I wear quite often that I need to probably get to the vanity for the bathroom the mirror and you see me and uh yeah a whole toilet uh a whole tub a shower uh you name it right nobody would ever knew it was a doggone bathroom in here so this completes my beauty room update and I'm really 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 satisfied with it and i'm gonna just give y'all what the ambiance is like with the lights dimmed okay so it's cozy it's cozy i got exactly what i was going for so here we go just to pan around the room again right quick gonna complete my beauty room so y'all just how y'all seventy don't ever be trying to be like anybody else all I can do is be me and all oh, this lots of uh, diva rooms makeup rooms that I have seen on uh, YouTube and oh, I've seen on TV you know fancy pantsies you know they got mansions and stuff however I got me a diva and a makeup room that's personalized just for me and I don't have to be worrying about things getting dirty, destroyed, I don't have tiny little kids anymore, I'm not somebody who's big on white, I like color, I like mixing prints and colors and I like things to look eclectic, I think it gives, it gives a room more personality. So. I'm just really pleased. And y'all, Mr. Long been trying to hang out in here like he didn't came up in here like twice and then sat his little butt over there. I was playing, um, what was I playing earlier? I was playing Caesar. No, I was playing Solange. That's who I was playing. Her whole album. And he came in here and he was like, let me find out. Like, I want you to come help me with the man cave. I have to do one room at a time. And this room literally took me all damn day okay so i hope y'all enjoyed my little transformation in a vlog form and i just feel like this way is a little bit more detailed it doesn't feel rushed you guys actually get to see and look at things that i actually did if you have questions on how i did anything or what i used uh ask in the comments below um is there anything you think you would change let me know that too because you know sometimes seeing things through a second pair of eyes is good uh but i'm pleased i'm very very pleased with how everything turned out that concludes today's vlog and i'm gonna take a shower and when i get up in the morning the task of everything that was on that tree i'm gonna put away in my master closet <laughs> so it's like you you clean one room to have to go do the next room and I told y'all to get my house in order so everything can run like a smooth oiled mushroom. So, on that note, I'll see y'all tomorrow.